six email subject line formulas that get people to click hey guys emails are great emails can make you a lot of money but if they don't open your email then they don't read it and they can't click and you can't make any money in this video i'm going to show you six email subject line formulas that are almost guaranteed to get clicks now if you haven't subscribed so far please do so hit that subscribe button down there turn it from red to gray and don't forget ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time i go live or if i upload a video now subject lines are awesome but i want you to think about them differently than you ever have before a subject line is well not a subject line okay it's the purpose of the subject line is to get somebody to open the email if you tell somebody what is in the email in the subject line then they don't need to open your email if they're not interested so we've got to change that way of thinking right off the bat now i'm going to put a few subject lines up on the screen here for you real quick just to give you an idea of what i'm talking about so the first one is damn it damn it damn it okay what does that mean well we don't really know what it means so we would have to open the email the next one is don't make assumptions the one after that is this is ridiculous number four on that screen there is behind the scenes breaking the law number five super important awesome in all caps even the single best way to get customers period that's how they get you and a confession name new training for you now when i say name there you should insert their name and the right software is going to help you do that and i'll reveal to you what the right software is in just a minute uh how to bring home the benjamins uh and the next one is screw the wall so look at these subject lines guys they don't really tell you what's in the email but they're very effective and there's certain formulations that you can use to come up with these kinds of subject lines and i'd like to walk you through each one of those so you know what to do and then anybody can write emails that are going to get sales now some of these subject line formulas are going to kind of break the rules as far as what you're supposed to do but they work and that's all that really matters and then other ones kind of follow the rules um, emojis seem to get more opens but now more and more people are doing emojis and they're not near as effective as they used to be so you also want to take into consideration as time goes on things change and you need to adapt and change with it the same thing that you did last week that worked really well may not work as well this week so i want you to take all of this with a grain of salt and try it uh, a b test it uh, and if you don't know what a b testing is basically you do one form uh, and then you do another form and you find out which one works best now if you don't have the software and i mentioned to you just a second ago if you don't have the right software to do this it's really hard to send out emails and a b test or even get good results so i'm going to offer to you this suggestion get kartra kartra is awesome um, you can see it right down below here right now if you use my link below you can get it for one dollar but kartra will help you design and develop emails along with that you can do all kinds of a b testing and it'll get you really good results so i highly recommend you try kartra this link here when you go down to the link you can click on it and you'll see a video if you watch the video it'll walk you through the whole thing you don't have even have to put in your email address no credit card or any of that and watch the video if you like what you see sign up for it try it out it's only a buck so that's my commercial and that's that's what i use for all of my emails okay the first one i want to tell you about in your subject line is to ask a question when you ask a question it gets people's attention and they almost feel compelled to answer it now these questions have to be exciting if you say something like uh, i don't know excited about the holidays that's not going to really resonate with people so let me put some questions up on the screen so that you can see them and you can see what i'm talking about um, the first one is should you skip dessert at thanksgiving dinner that's a very interesting one are you drinking too much coffee in the morning when is the best time to say i love you are you making this big business mistake so all of those subject lines kind of develop some curiosity to where i want to know what's in the email because of that subject line number two is to say something shocking now let's say you were to go into the grocery store this morning and you uh pass a coffee shop and you look over at the coffee shop and you see a guy who's dressed just like elvis in a sparkly outfit and he's got all the glitter and everything and the hair done that would probably capture your attention but if you looked over in the coffee shop and you saw a lot of people in business attire sipping their coffee you would probably wouldn't get your attention because it's not breaking through the clutter the elvis guy he would break through the clutter you can also say something shocking like 
is Twitter dead? Elon Musk. Well, Elon Musk just bought Twitter and you're going to look at that subject line and say, well, I have to read this. I got to know what's going on here. Um, you could say something like, damn it, damn it, damn it. And then have an exclamation point at the end of it. That's going to get people's attention. They're going to be saying, what are you talking about? Number three is teach them a how to. Uh, teaching a how-to has always worked it's worked in subject lines and newspaper headlines for years let me put a few on the screen here so you can see them um, the first one is how to make him fall in love oh my gosh love is a big category isn't it um, how to get 1,000 new customers in a week or how to double your earnings in under a year so you get the idea here it's a how to do something now there's another part to this how to that I really like using and it's a how to X without pain so the how to x without pain works something like this how to lose 20 pounds this month and still eat the foods you love um, how to sculpt your body and look better and not have to exercise a single minute so all of those types of headlines though they probably aren't true um, can get somebody's attention you could also say how to improve your skin tone and look ageless without using expensive facial creams so all of those follow that formula of how to x without pain number four is make them curious okay and i i alluded to this earlier when i said the single best ways to get customers period okay so that gets people's attention they want to know what that is i'm developing that curiosity i'll put three more on the screen here for you um, the next one is we were amazed at how well this worked 15 bizarre tricks to sleep better we've got a surprise for you so as you can see all of these subject lines just develop curiosity they don't tell you what's in the email they don't tell you what's going to happen they are developing curiosity so back to what i said in the beginning a subject line has to get people interested enough to open your email you don't want to tell them what's in the email number five is use numbers it has been proven that numbers will get people to open emails more than anything else uh, a good example of that is testing a subject line and, and i've seen this one tested where it says how to get more likes on your instagram post versus eight steps to get more likes on your instagram post the one with the number always does better than the one without the number so when you add a number to something you're going to get better results here's some more examples on the screen how to save 290 dollars extra every month 33 percent of people say never do this 23 reasons you're not succeeding all of these ways will get you more opens for your emails and now let's move on to number six use fomo what is fomo fomo is fear of missing out when you use that fear of missing out in your subject line you'll see tremendous results let's look at some examples of that in addition to that if you're using Kartra, which i highly recommend you do links in the description you can actually use a counting timer in your email too which will create even more urgency check out these examples on the screen right now um, don't miss your last chance to save uh-oh your trial is about to expire urgent you only got six more hours and the last one up there today only get access for 50 percent off so basically all of these things incorporate that fear of missing out now maybe you're selling physical products and you could talk about your warehouse only has 29 more of these or there's only 17 available at this price if you put the numbers in there along with the fear of missing out you can really have a very strong subject line so don't be afraid to combine some of the things i've taught you in this video if you combine those things you will get even better results but the important thing is you've got to test these things you got to split test these things you've got to figure out which one's going to work better for you and your audience um, different audiences react differently to different things uh, i know women when they see an email and it's a discount on a product they want to see a bigger discount than some men do um, why that is i don't know my wife proved it to me one day we were walking through a mall and something said 20 percent off she goes well that's not a sale i said why is that she says a sale has to be at least 50 percent off and i thought wow that's how she thinks and that's how a lot of women think is they've got to have that percentage so think about your audience apply the things that work best for your audience and you're going to see great results i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you got a lot out of it make sure you use all these tips and tricks and you're going to get better results in your emails and don't forget use kartra kartra is really important 
very easy to use very inexpensive it, it offers a whole host of different things that's why i say you want to watch that video down there it's not just emails it's all kinds of things that Kartra will do for your digital marketing company as a matter of fact when i got Kartra, i actually got rid of eight different pieces of software that i was paying for so you'll want to check it out below don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so so far make sure you hit that subscribe button turn it from red to gray as a matter of fact if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button i will show you a little video of a cute bird check this out see see in that cute of course it is you have to subscribe now that you've seen that right and don't forget to ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time i go live or if i upload a new video i do have a course down there it's absolutely free 97 dollars course just click and learn thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time I do a new video. Also, click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.